Good day, Virgo, and welcome to my channel. This is your monthly reading for April 2024. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this uh, reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Jack of Clubs. Ten of Spades, Queen of Diamonds, and the Four of Diamonds. Okay, so right off the bat, your general energy for the month is the four diamonds you need to save money yep right now is not a time to be spending money on stupid stuff that you don't need uh, you only need your needs your bills your food you know uh no going out to eat uh unless that's the way that you actually eat like say maybe you don't cook you know maybe you're not a cook or whatever you don't like to cook or you're not good at it um then go cheap go cheap if you're going out to eat uh, but if you can cook, if you are somebody that's capable of cooking, then cook at home. Make your own food. Uh, don't go out to eat. Don't spend that money. Uh, things that you want, they're wants. They're not needs. So don't be spending yourself on stupid shit. Because most likely with this card coming up, you are going to need that extra money. Uh, either sometime at the end of this week or during the week or maybe even next week. But either way you're going to need that money so definitely save your money uh this week uh try to stop yourself from you know spending i know uh for a lot of us it, it is a hard thing to do uh but it, it's going to serve you uh much better if you don't um or if you do save and and don't spend at the beginning of the month uh looks like you have a risk that you can take and it says to take the risk uh yeah you just, uh, yeah, any idea that you have going on here at the beginning of the month, it's a go. You just need to, you know, think and focus on it and, you know, do what you need to do to get it go to go to get going. Uh, but, yeah, it is a risk. Uh, you're going to have a lot of, you know, maybes. This might happen. That might happen. But the cards are saying it's a go. It, it is definitely something that you can uh, go for, you know, that it is going to work out. You know, and you know, risks are risks. That's how it goes. But the cards say it's a go. But you need to be careful. There is a player, okay? There is a player here <clears throat> that does not want you to do this. And now, this can actually be part of the money. This risk might cost you money. You might need to spend money on this, okay? Uh, and the player very well could be somebody that's going to try to get you to spend money on something that you don't need. And it may be because they don't want you to do whatever this risky business is. Uh, either they're worried about it or they just don't want you doing it, you know, like they know. They know that, you know, it's going to work out for you and they don't like that. They don't like that idea. So um, be careful who you trust right now um be careful of people trying to spend your money all right for one and be careful for those that don't want you to uh take risks that could lead to something good because this is a good risk this is a good idea it, it's a go it's going to work out for you just be careful of that uh player there in the middle of the month uh, you're going to have some disappointment and sadness and <clears throat> looking at the cards. I think it is, I think the player is part of this. I think that maybe you figure out that they're trying to, um, you know, diminish you from doing something that you want to do and that makes you disappointed and sad. But I think this goes on even more because here at the end of the month, you have somebody that's wicked and jealous. They're a home wrecker. All right, and I'm not saying they don't want, they just, it's not that they just want to take your, you know, significant other. They want to take your whole life. They don't want you to have anything. They do not like uh, the path you're on. They don't like what you're doing. They just, they don't like you. Uh, and they're a manipulator. So this person could very well be 
somebody that you consider a friend. It really could be because this is a master manipulator. This is somebody that could pull the wool over your eyes pretty well. And I'd be careful because um, this player could be a part of this uh, uh, queen of queen of diamonds. So, yeah, but I think also that this wicked, jealous person is also going to bring disappointment and sadness. Uh, I feel like you just you got a tag team here that's just going to uh, put you in that mood. Um, I think maybe even more than just the middle of the month, you know. Um, but save your money. This homewrecker would also try to get you to spend your money. They would try to manipulate you into it. So... Yeah, I would be very careful right now with your money and people around you uh, having any kind of dealings with your money. And I mean, this can be anybody. This can be your significant other uh, trying to screw you up uh, on money, you know, uh, the player at least, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I would just be, be careful of, of people right now when it comes to your money. I'd say... Um, hold on to your money, save your money, don't let anybody know that you have money, and yeah, just kind of keep it a secret, and yeah, because there's people that are, I feel like there's people that are going to try to fuck you up with your money by manipulating you. So, let's see if the tarot cards have anything more to say. Universe speak, spirit's guide, what needs to be known, what lessons need to be learned. Ooh. Yeah. So you got the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords, the woman's bound, right? And she's blindfolded. So she thinks she's trapped. She thinks she can't get away, you know. But if she looked, if she knew, if she didn't have that blindfold on, she would realize that there are swords all around her that she could easily cut herself free and, and get away from the situation that she's in. Um... And I feel like this player, I think this is saying, you know, keep in mind, it's all up to you. It's all in your power, you know. Uh, take off that blindfold so you see the player and you see the wicked, jealous manipulator and you free yourself of them. You know, it's up to you. And then by freeing yourself is by saving your money and keeping it to yourself and not dealing it out to these two people at all. Uh, I just feel like these people are involved with your money. Like they're trying to get you to borrow money or a loan or whatever, you know, trying to give you, get you to give money. And this can be anybody. Remember that, you know, uh, you know, because even, even if you're a couple, you, you, you know, couples even tend to screw each other up a little bit, uh, based on their own wants and whatnot. Uh, but, uh, it, it's all up to you, basically, is what the cards are saying. It's up to you to take that blindfold off. It's up to you to see who's, you know, you know, conniving you or whatever. And then it's up to you to cut yourself free of them. And I feel like, for a lot of you, it's, it's the money. Uh, some of you, it might not be the money. It might be something else. But for a lot of you, I think it's the money. I really do. And this person also, the player, is dealing with the risk but i think the how they're going to deal with your risk is through the money because if you take a risk you go after some kind of ideal that you're having that's going to take money you know and i feel like this person is going to try to you know get involved so save your money don't let anybody know about your money this is up to you take that blindfold off see these people that are going to try to screw you up so there you go i hope this resonates and i hope it helps in some way and if it does hit that like button and if you would please comment share and subscribe i hope to see you back here next month and until then stay safe stay mindful and stay healthy